Hi everyone and welcome to Inside Bristol. I'm your host Sheridan Nichols. Well up first we've got Mike Music from the Department of Parks and Recreation and he's going to tell us all about our beloved Farmer's Market which opens May 1st. Here he is. Thank you, Sheridan. I appreciate you all having us in on uh, Inside Bristol again, and uh, we are so looking forward to uh, getting the State Street Farmers Market season up and going. This year, we're going to have a full season, May through October, so opening day for the 2021 State Street Farmers Market year will be Saturday, May 1st, 8 a.m. to noon, and you'll be able to find us not on State Street, like the name indicates, but instead in the um, uh, City Hall parking lot on the Bristol, Tennessee side of town, of course, and that can be found uh, just off of Anderson Street. Great big parking lot there at City Hall, so lots of parking and plenty of room to spread our vendors out and uh, uh, still do some uh, social distancing with our shopping, which is certainly the uh, the responsible thing to do. Uh, early in the year, you're going to find some, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of greens, um, some plants, some uh, onions, some uh, potatoes, uh, wonderful uh, produce offerings there. Uh, of course, farm fresh meats and eggs as well. Don't make the mistake of coming to a May farmer's market and expect to see corn, cucumbers, tomatoes. Those things don't, uh, don't hit the market until uh, a little later on in late June, July, and August, of course. So uh, I'm always surprised the number of folks that come into the market looking for corn and tomatoes uh, in May, and you're just not going to happen, not going to see them. Uh, but anyway, um, once again, in the City Hall parking lot uh, to allow for plenty of social distancing, plenty of nice, safe shopping. So if you drive down State Street on Saturday mornings, uh, you're not going to find the market uh, in our normal spot. However, we will be in that normal spot when our Wednesday markets begin in July, August, and September. And those will be Wednesday afternoons throughout the summer. But Saturday mornings uh, for your farmer market needs come on out uh, to the State Street Farmers Market located in the City Hall parking lot of uh, Bristol Tennessee City Hall just off of Anderson Street so that's where we'll be on Saturday mornings we're looking forward to it looking forward to getting our vendors uh, back for the season and of course all our wonderful customers so come on out folks Saturday mornings the State Street Farmers Market uh, in the Bristol Tennessee City Hall parking lot the place to be Thanks, Mike, for all that information. Well, don't go anywhere. Up next, if you're looking for a new career, we might have an opportunity for you. Stay with us. Welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols. Well, we've got Mary Lee Williams joining us from the city of Bristol, and she's going to tell us about several job opportunities in the city and how you can apply for them. Here she is. Hello, my name is Mary Lee Williams. I'm the Director of Administration for the City of Bristol, Tennessee. Here at the City, we employ approximately 350 full-time, over 50 part-time, and a varying number of temporary employees depending on the season. I've been with the City over six years, and I've come to find that we're more of a family than co-workers. Together, we work to provide a variety of quality services for the citizens of Bristol to improve their well-being as well as the well-being of the community. As of today, we have quite a number of openings here at the city. You can find those at www.bristoltn.org. There, click on jobs and you will find a listing of all our openings. We have full-time, part-time, and temporary positions available. Our police, fire, and dispatch positions will be posted year-round. These positions require some additional pre-employment assessments, screenings, and background checks. Today, if you log in to our site, you will find that we have a variety of full-time positions, including recreation programmer. This position helps to organize, plan, and assist with many different recreational programs. If recreation is your thing, check it out on our website. Also, 
If maintenance is more of an interest to you and in your skill set, we have full-time, part-time, and temporary maintenance positions available. Full-time positions qualify for our benefit package, which is very competitive. We offer health, dental, life, disability, paid sick, vacation, and holiday, and a whole host of benefits. Another special benefit that we offer our employees who are on our health plan is availability of free health care through our employee health and wellness clinic that operates exclusively for our employees here at the city. If you're looking for something year-round, but with a little more flexibility in the schedule, check out some of our part-time jobs on our website. We have part-time opportunities in fire, police, and parks and recreation. There's a variety of options, including working at our nature center at Still Creek Park, serving as a custodian in one of our facilities, or even serving as a crossing guard at one of our city schools. We are currently recruiting seasonal lifeguards, event coordinators, park workers, and recreation workers. These are great opportunities to spend the summer outside and doing something that you really enjoy. We'd love to have you join our City of Bristol family. After all, Bristol is not just a great place to live, it's a great place to work too. Thanks so much for all of that information. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Inside Bristol. I'm your host, Sheridan Nichols. And joining us now, we've got a Bristol, Tennessee police officer, Josh Graham with us. And he is gonna tell us all about the prescription drug take back program, which is coming up. Here he is. It is something that, we're going to, that they do every year. And uh, this year they're gonna do it on April the 24th between uh, 10 and 2 uh, p.m. And it'll be over at the uh, municipal lot at 801 Anderson Street. Some people consider it the courthouse parking lot there. And it's just uh, no questions asked, prescription drug take back. So if you have any expired, unused prescriptions or supplements that you wanna get rid of and you wanna dispose of them properly, you can come drop it off there. And what the city does afterwards is they incinerate it so you don't flush it down or pour it down the drain or anything because that can affect the waterways and the aquatic life. You don't have to show any ID or anything like that. The only thing that they won't take any liquids or any syringes is the only thing that they're not going to take. Thanks so much for that information and thank you for watching us today. We'll see you next time.